Probably this way. Magic moment. Oh, oh, good night. Good night. Nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, my God. Like worried about so we actually with quacks in this match we pull out kob if they have that that's what i ran in mine it could be really good for us i think we're gonna do it oh the infused one yeah you're right maybe maybe it's my deck i had double thinners like that i don't know I think we do it now. It could be King of Beggars. Incredible scenes today, friends. Wow, amazing. Amazing scenes here. Do you have a loyalty discount? I got no idea, man. Okay, I think it's time. This is going to give us a really big point gap. Oh! They will use this now, though. <laughs> Magic moments! <laughs> yeah, they're going to use it. But hey... We forced it. We forced leader out. I don't know. Not so bad. Not so bad, man. And Bran. Hey, what's up, legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, I've put together a Fruits of Easegeth list. With this order ability of this leader, we get to spawn a Gurnacorus fruit on an allied row. That's this token unit that you see here. This token unit is also a Thrive unit. So as we play units with a higher power than this, it will be boosting itself by one. At the start of your turn, reset this ability if you do not control any fruits so a very consistent way to ensure that we have this thrive unit throughout the entire match really crystal skull is the stratagem boost an allied unit by four and give it veil the targets for crystal skull are mainly our engine units right so we got double wild hunt hound that you could use crystal skull onto also witch apprentice and in some cases if we're going first and you really want to play Iteran round one with a bit of protection, I guess you could also give Iteran Crystal Skull. But we're more so saving Iteran to be played with Bloody Mistress into round two or three. Another thing I should mention with our leader ability is that we have a few ways to synergize it, in particular with some of the cards in this deck. Obviously, it plays for really great value with Bloody Mistress, according to how that card works. It works good with Iteran. We can spawn fruits for Griffin to destroy. Those are a few things to mention. And Necker Warrior works good with our leader ability also. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up. Explain how best to play each card. When to play it during a match. And then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. To begin with, we have two Neckers. These are also Thrive units. On deploy, spawn a base copy of this unit and summon it to this row. So basically we get two of these when we play this down. The Neckers kind of fit 
the Thrive theme that we have with this deck. And what I like to do with the Neckers in particular is try to save them to be played with Iteran because of how this card's ability works. I think we can get more out of these Thrive units when we play it at that time. So try to save it to be played together with this card, which would usually happen round two or three. I guess it's also not a, proact not a bad proactive play when you're going first in a round. You want to play these out um, to begin with because of how the Thrive curve works. Next up, we have a Drowner. Drowner is more of a tech card because it gives us movement. Also Thrive. So on deploy, you get to move an enemy unit to the other road, damage it by two. Drowner could be a really nice way to stop a card like Bruva from getting good value, boosting all dwarves on a row that Bruva's on. Good way to counter Keltalus and whatever else may be row locked. Drowner's not a card I necessarily uh, search for in this deck. I more so look for it depending upon the deck that I'm versing and how beneficial I think this card will be to me during a match. Double Wild Hunt Hounds. Passive points are always nice. We're trying to utilize our engines round one to help gain round control. But the Wild Hunt Hounds should play consistently because of how tall our units are likely to go. So as long as we have the highest powered unit on the battlefield at a time, which is what dominance refers to, at the end of your turn, this card will boost self by one. As I said, good target for Crystal Skull when going first as well. We have Pillar. This is more so to remove locks from our units. If our opponent has a lot of locks, you can also purify opponent's defender, purify opponent's resilience unit. You should look for Pillar depending upon what kind of a deck you're versing. Sometimes it's not so necessary to have Pillar on you. Then we have Double Necker Warrior. You know, having Necker Warriors, I just felt it was pretty good to add them in this deck because at 4 provision cost, we get a 7 point card. That feels pretty good. Um, deploy, if this card would not trigger any of your Thrive units, damage self by 3 and infuse self with Thrive. Like I said, it's a pretty consistent card to play on a deck though because of our leader ability token. We're always going to be triggering Thrive. So I think it's nice to play the Necker Warriors out. Perhaps with Bloody Mistress when we have all those extra fruits on the board it's just a good way to point slam a bit trigger some thrive and some good overall boosting across the board double megascope because we're playing iterate we may be able to get some extra value out of having megascope in our deck deploy choose a bronze allied unit T timer two basically after two turns of elapsed spawn a base copy of picked unit on the right of megascope you can use Megascopes round one onto Griffin. That plays for pretty good value. Four provision cost, nine points. Very nice. Also a good idea. You may wish to go for Witch Apprentices. And like I said, if we do Megascope onto Witch Apprentice while Iteran is down, I mean, we're getting an extra engine through Iteran. So those are the kind of ideas for Megascope. Then we have Spores as a bit of a control option. Reset the power of a unit. We can play Spores defensively on one of our own units. Maybe um, She Who Knows gets damaged down. Spear Tip gets damaged down. You could reset them. That could play for pretty good value. Or not. You just most of the time want to target an opponent's unit where their power level has gone above the base power level of that unit. Okay. Double Witch Apprentice. Feels pretty good playing these out round one. Can put some pretty good pressure on the opponent. As long as we've got 25 or more points on a row, which is what Sabbath means. At the end of our turn, this card boosts self by two. Really strong engine at five provision cost. Double Griffin. I usually don't play Griffin for deploy when I play this Mamuna combination with Griffin. But because we're playing our leader ability, Fruits, and we can consistently spawn a low power token unit, we want to play Griffin for deploy in this deck. And we want to play one of these cards out round one and always keep the other in deck for Mamuna to thin out to the board and just always make sure you you use your leader before you play this obviously because what it does is destroy an allied unit on this row if there are no targets destroy self we don't want that so the idea is that round one as an opening play you click your leader spawn one of the fruits and then destroy it with griffin and then your leader refreshes so the reason why we're only playing one griffin and then saving the other in deck is because later on what we're looking to do is play Mamuna, preferably in round two. Because this card gives us thinning, if you think about it. it. Makes sense to use this for um 
a good bleed, right? High tempo play. So with this card, it has a Zeal Order ability, meaning you can use it right away when you first play it on the board. We banish a bronze unit from graveyard, boost off by its power, summon a copy of it from your deck to this row. Bear in mind, if we're playing that for Sabbath, it's going to play the copy. We don't really want to play the Griffin. We just want to summon it. Um, because of that, what you'd usually want to do with Mamuna is use it as your first play into a round that you're going to push with this to avoid that Sabbath. And as I said, the Griffin will be in Graveyard. So the target for us with Mamuna will be to banish the Griffin. We get a nice boost for Mamuna. And then we end up pulling the other Griffin out from our deck to the same row as Mamuna. And we've got a few backup plays. You know, you've got the Wild Hunt Hounds and the Witch Apprentices as well if something happens with the Griffin. Old Spear Tip Asleep. This is to give our deck consistency. And gives us short round three potential because Osril can consume old spear tip at 18 base power, hopefully. So basically what you have to know about this card is that after three turns have elapsed, we're thinning out old spear tip from our deck to the same row as this card. This card will banish six points of power, goes into this old spear tip, it becomes 18 point spear tip. And then as I said later on, that's great for Osril to consume to consume at the end of the match. This is nice because it gives that deck consistency and just bear in mind if this card becomes damaged at any point you instantly thin out old spear tip uh for 12 points of power instead of 18. what i suggest we do is play this round one early on now we got osril we're looking to play osril range drew as a final play at the end of the match consume a unit from your graveyard that will be old spear tip hopefully at 18 points of base power keep in mind you can play osril offensively melee row consume a unit from your opponent's graveyard as well maybe if they've got a better option i don't know so we've got iteran here the first time you spawn a unit on your side of the battlefield each turn spawn a one power copy of it on this row give it doomed what we like to do is use iteran particularly in combination with gunakora when Gurnakora spawns a fruit, Idoran will spawn a fruit. And Idoran has really good synergy with our leader. You play Idoran down on the board, click leader, and we get two fruits. Okay, good synergy with Neckers, Megascopes, all those kinds of cards I outlined before. So that's what we're looking to do. Play Idoran with Gurnakora, preferably on a round two bleed, because we want to bleed with our deck. Decree is just to get a unit of our choice from our deck. That's what it does. Play a unit from your deck. Maybe round one, you want to go Quacks to pull out She Who Knows. You can save it, I guess, for Old Spear Tip Asleep. Or on the bleed, maybe you want to go for Mamuna or Bloody Mistress. Here we are, Quacks. Each player summons the highest provision unit from their deck to the melee row. This can really affect the opponent's strategy significantly because sometimes we remove a unit which plays a significant part in the opponent's overall um, success of their deck. And it could result in a forfeit if we just get a good card early on. You know, pulling something like Renfree, Regis Reborn, Simless, uh, Terra Nova, those kinds of cards. So because of the way this card works and the probabilities of us pulling the best card of the opponent, we basically want to play this as early on as possible in the match, which would be round one. I suggest you play it as your final play of round one just to keep she who knows safe from removal and hopefully you'll fire ahead on the points so the opponent can't commit to removing she who knows so the idea is that because we want to use quacks to pull she who knows um this gives us thinning and we always want to keep she who knows in our deck at all times so that um this pulls it out obviously for control we have heat wave banish a unit or an artifact Save this to target the opponent's scenario cards, effective units, or just as a tall punish option at the end of the match. Bloody Mistress, as long as we have 25 or more points on a row, at the end of your turn, spawn Ger Gernicora's fruit on both sides of this unit. Transform self into Gernicora without changing power. Um, so basically what we got to know is that the way Gernicora works, depending how many Gernicora's fruits we have, that's how much Gurnakora will be boosting by. 
At the end of your turn, transform self into bloody mistress, or, mistress without changing power. Sabbath, at the end of your turn, boost self by one for each allied Gurnachorus root, as it states there. So I do kind of like to play bloody mistress on the bleed round two in combination with Itaran, probably Mamuna to help set this cut up for Sabbath and um, try to play it in line with she who knows if you have she who knows um, round two still for resilience. Old speed tip with cover, just always keep this card in your deck at all times because it's getting thinned out through this. Uh, we did cover Mamuna, banishing Griffin, summoning other Griffin from deck to same row. And then we just got she who knows. Uh, always keep this card in your deck at all times for so cracks to thin out, as I said. And Sabbath, as long as we've got 25 or more points on a row at the end of round, give resilience to the highest base power unit on your side of the battlefield. So it should be Spear Tip. Spear Tip is very nice to play in combination with She Who Knows because you can get 18 points of carryover resilience. Okay, now it's time to discuss the strategy for the deck. According to this deck and how it plays, basically our strength lies in most likely getting round control, 2-0ing the opponent, pushing them really hard in round 2 and going for a short round three situation those kinds of situations to find ourselves in so it's it's an engine based deck high tempo plays what we would likely want to most likely do round one is try to win round control utilizing our engines so you can play the wild hunt hounds out witch apprentices round one old spear tip quacks we can play a griffin we can play megascopes those kinds of combinations of cards. I guess you could even go Neka Warrior and Neka if you really wanted to. Should be enough to get you round control. If we get round control, definitely bleed with our deck. Push really hard into round two. Open up with Mamuna. Go Itaran using Leader. Getting extra fruits. Play Bloody Mistress. If it looks like you're very far ahead on the opponent and they're struggling to catch up, definitely try to 2-0. You can definitely do that with this deck. But if not... um. Maybe you could even tempo pass, go for a short round three. And in a short round three, obviously just rely on whatever else you have left. Bear in mind, in a short round situation, Sabbath might be a bit harder to achieve because we need a few more points on the board. And your final say card at the end of the match is really Oswald Range Draw to consume Spear Tip and use your control options at any point of the match that you may need. Maybe you want to keep Heat Wave at the end of the match if you want to play it like that. So, hope you have fun with this deck, and thank you very much for your time and support. Maybe we're kind of swarming some Thrive round one. Let's just focus on the passive points first. We'll play these two out. Then I'll play leader, play this, because anyway, I've got to destroy a token. <laughs> you don't like it? Milling time. You enjoy mill yourself? Okay, maybe like this. I think it's pretty good, man. <laughs> My god, extra tall punish option for NG. Trying to deny me dominance, are they? They're gonna put it onto uh what? They'll be just fine to go roach, won't they? Yeah, new cards out. Yeah. My teammate Edoc revealed this card. Go check it out on YouTube. Oh, why? Why, man? Nah, sorry, I can't. My word is my bond. Can't do it. Type his name. Uh.
Northgard. Later today. It will be night time for me. 10 p.m. tonight, my time. For everyone else, 2 p.m. CEST, I guess. If you're from there. I've actually got some pretty good uh, Thrive value coming up. Oh my goodness. I could even play that for Thrive. wonder if it's worth heat waving uh maxi but if i'm gonna do that that means i have to push round two to bleed out cards ah uh, well you know i'm doing this um oh my god are you serious man <laughs> crap Oh, that completely screws, um, like my bleed. Well done, friend. Well done. Good on you. Very happy for you. Very happy for you, friend. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'll get off a bit before my card reveal because, you know, I've got to do the, the guide as well here. Uh, that's a part of the game friends isn't it what can you do <laughs> dark magic moment man it's just <laughs> I don't know man whatever <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. This shit, a fine vintage it would have made. Okay, so it's like a hyper thin. So they're going to play like Tris Media Shower. Oh no, not Tris Media. What was the other one called? Tris, um, Yen, all that kind of stuff. Forget the name of that one. Media Shower is the one that boosts the row, right? That was not in the spell books. So you can just kind of like fix their deck. Another one. Now, how did that incantation go? That's true, Dougie, yeah. Yeah, true, true. So we've got a few options. I should probably keep spores. I think we're gonna see a lot of boosting, huh? Maybe I'm keeping spores even. What does everyone think? Is that a good option? Would they have like a defender in there? Really? They don't really run defender, do they? Oh, we didn't even do our thing. Yeah. Oh, we got a very good hand though. Thank you very much, uh, Ghost, Ghost of Fuck. Appreciate it. Okay, cool. Fisher King. Yeah, uh, I think they're going to give us like um, some good targets, aren't they? Okay. So best thing to do, we just prioritize the ancient value early on. So I would kind of play it like this I think we have Griffin there and what I'm doing is I'm holding leader because I'm going to play it now with this that's the idea Tris will get huge value them with hunger. 
crush them with dust. We have heat wave friends. My new eyes do like them. Okay. I like where this is going. It's looking good. Swears with Vigo. Okay. And that's been working good for you? Wow. What, so what's everyone think about Beauclair? The beast of Beauclair. I love the references, hey. Uh, is this enough room? Hold on. So we got three, four, five. It's like perfect, isn't it? Oh, this is really going to pop now. Oh. Oh my gosh. Just wait till... um. Wait till our friend just comes down. Nick a warrior starts digging up through the ground and boosting everything. Yeah, mate. Do your thing. Wow, that's going to come down for some value. Look. Never get my rhymes out of your head. <laughs> yeah, true, true. You know what I like about our list? It's like we kind of um this is like full punish bait. <laughs> and then it saves all these engines we got coming down. Doesn't it? Oh. Oh. Okay, we got kind of lucky. It just hit one. No um Yurden, please. Yeah, smart. Nice, my friend. Nice. Good thinking, my friend. Yo, Megascope gonna get some value. Oh my goodness. What is the decree for? Mm, we just come down with she who knows for a point slam, isn't it? Uh, this is gonna be too strong. Too many engines. If they don't answer these engines... What do they have? They got Vilgaforts, don't they? Do they play defensive Vilgaforts or offensive? To do business with you is ever a pleasure. Ever a pleasure. Of great pleasure. A witch's best friend is a pen, no doubt. Nice. How are we going to pull it now, though? Look at my roads. we got Megascope, man. Let's get the Megascope value, no? Megascope Piggy, Iterin gives me an extra engine. I think better this way. Yeah, we're going to pop off with engines. Right. Let's see, then. Okay, here comes the big boosting. I never err in my predictions. <sighs> my god. Yo, watch Idaran with Megascope now. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, we go for... They probably do damage now, no? Probably speed tip. Yeah, we can do it. How can I help? Oh Yes. They missed out. Wow. Magic moments. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, it's game over. Four piggies? It's game over. Gurnacora is going to eat Vilgaforts. It's going to get removed. Oh, it's Reince. Oh, 
Um... Probably it's okay that way. Because it's gonna be in like another tool punish anyway. I think so. Well played, got you. Thanks for the follow, Legend. I think we're fine, yeah. 12 points now. Best yield now. Oh my god. If they kill... No, they wouldn't kill Spear Tip. I was going to say, like, that'd be really good for us. We just go Osral, but they're going to go Gurney, eh? It's bigger. So it's like... Vilgaforts now? What do they do? Oh, they've gone defensive. You mistake stars reflected in okay. Well done, man. Well played. No idea why my mouse is bugging out. But we're going to keep pushing on. Throw so your nose down. Round 4 resilience, extremely important. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yo, my mouse started to bug out. Right then. What's up? Yes, good cards, good cards. You think it's Cleaver? Yeah, <laughs> nice. Was all about Cleaver. I tried bringing it back. <laughs> oh, I love playing Cleaver. He is a fun card. I like the intimidate um, kind of aspect. Crimes intimidate. It's cool. So two coins are ready for what? Yeah, it'd be nice, man. Tunnel drill was pretty devastating back in the day before the reworks. Still devastating. Is that like an unusual opening for that kind of a deck? I don't play this deck. Is that typical or is that like maybe not necessary? They have a bad hand? Is that what that means? Don't they usually open up like townsfolk or something? T Tunnel drill and stratagem. Oh, this is a threat. This is a threat. That is such a threat, eh? It's just waiting there. We make them use it here and play that. Can I bait that out? Can I make them use it on the seven? That's such a big threat to us. How do I work around the poison? Okay, thank you, thank you. Now survive. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. Um, well, they need... Uh, what are they going to do? They'll fist tech probably directly there. Have a good one, V. All the best to you, my friends. Shady Vendor, you think? I hope that's like a bluff or something. <laughs> they need coin, though. Unless they got like a fist tech in hand or whatever. Yeah, see? Okay. It's probably time. Let's go like that. Maybe safe for she who knows now. <laughs> ah. <laughs> My God. Really, man. Well, Unicorn pulls the horse. That's a bit of points to cover, isn't it? How do they cover that? We're not even, it would be nice. Just take all their best cards out. Hopefully they don't draw good in the following round. Nice. Good, good. Okay. Very good. They used all poison. Uh, double failed experiment. Two fist tech. So they have like the location. I think we go 2 0. Even that. Even 2 0 is not a bad idea with this hand. It's actually a really good hand. Maybe just Osrul or a decree. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, dude. Did y'all see that? <laughs> wow, man. I'm gonna go for it. I'll push. Oh yeah, play candle up back, please. Don't play it. Front. Go back, bro. Candle, come on. <laughs> it's too obvious. Cause there wasn't Sabbath. Oh yes. Oh, and over profit. Should we still heatwave the candles? It's at five, four. It's at four. Maybe we do it a bit different. My new eyes. Do you like them? When I clicked Mamuna, it went to 21 points, right? 10 plus 11. 
21 points, not Sabbath. So summons. Calculates what's on the board first. Maybe they don't have much, like... Oh, wow, they, they boosted the Siri. 13-point unit access back row. That's, that's a potential call to, to do that. We use Pella. Probably on she who knows. I think they'll poison that way if they can. But we saw a lot of their combos around one. The offensive stuff. This is this is pretty much the finishing the hand. I have everything here. Yeah, here it comes. It's gonna be she who knows, isn't it? Or oh, they wanna go Gurney. Where is the challenge? Why that way? That's so unusual to me. Must be something I'm not aware of they're doing. Lost spirit devoid of name, depart now, Look at that throw. <laughs> Yo, Pella's the MVP, man. Yo, Pella playing for how many points then? <laughs> CDPR, nerf Pella. Marcus takes purest tears, purest in all that. I think they're gonna struggle, especially when we got spear tip carryover. Maybe you could, to be honest. Oh, good morning, my friend. How's things? We just two O probably. Oh, James wants to choose who we raid, no doubt. Who you got in mind? Hell yeah, my good friends. We can definitely do that. Uh, please remind me before we close stream. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes I forget, you know, people redeem points when I'm playing in that thing about the game. Okay, Ash. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mark. The heatwave candle. Just go that way. Maybe that's pretty good. If they want to destroy a tall unit, I think I just go Osril and that's it. Maybe it's the right play now. They can still poison the veiled unit. Drill, it's not really good here, I don't think. Uh, we just go all in. Really weak, yeah. Oh, Necker Warrior is really gonna slap. Is that the best one for us, though? Hold on a second. Seven. Osril. Wow, incredible points. Easy, easy.
soon find out. Uh, yeah, we can fix that. Maybe this is better. Oh, well. Yeah, if they're opening like that. So, will they hit Quacks? Maybe I shouldn't go Quacks. They pull me she who knows. Maybe they do that. What's that provision? 11. Maybe I don't go Quacks. Maybe I should go Spear Tip. Actually, our leader counters um, Kelly, doesn't it? We just keep spawning fruits. He can shoot fruits. Oh yeah, I can shoot hoops. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> fruits, hoops, it's all coming out. Oh yeah, Nithril, huh? What kind of a deck is this, man? I'm really trying to think. They have the dominance. Could go that way as well. Which apprentice? A witch's best friend is a pig. No doubt. You got a lot of points coming up. Quick, move those fools. They'll both be hand. That's nice. So maybe we need Pella for Cave Troll, hey. One of these? We're still ahead this way. It could help now. We could pass. Do we want to do that though? Maybe better to win on even against them. Space power unit. We'll get this way still. So, yeah, it's going to be Pella Heat Wave. Drowner's not bad either. Drown is pretty good because they stack melee rope. Oh, it's going to be like one, two, three. Ooh. It's going to be interesting how that works. I'm not sure.
spores. Um, Onto cave troll is not really good now. Oh wow. Oh, this is a bit of points to cover. We can't do this in one go, can we? Let's get Heat Wave, Drowner. Those cards. I think it's very important. Swarm value. She who knows. Missed them. We missed them. Not good. <laughs> okay. It's for the offer, but I prefer to create my own. Pretty good, Chaos. How about yourself? Very excited. My card reveal is coming up tonight. It's going to be my fourth one. I think we just want to reach like Sabbath ASAP. They're gonna go Witcher Sabbath, right? What if I just consume Kelly? Like offensive. Yeah. I think it's a cool card. Looking forward to using it. See? <laughs> That's not so good now. That's not so good now, man. Look at look at the points they gave me. They gave me a 18 and two nines. Wow, it feels a lot better now. Yo, it's good dozen. Yeah, yeah, bit of relics um, with uh, Idoran, bloody mistress, my friend. Pleased to see you. Yo, Osra was the play, offensive, eh? What do you think? Got us the W? Or we gotta be careful? Of some, uh... yeah, it goes that way. We have engine value. You know what I like? We have Pella. Pella goes here. Spores, whatever. Piggy at the end of the match, probably. Megascope Piggy. This way. Yeah, no way. Definitely doesn't. Don't make me laugh. They gave us so many points for Sabbath there. I don't know if they didn't have Xavier or, or what it was. This is really nice. Look how it works with the Thrive. That's great value. For provision cost. I think it's our match, huh? Just use She Who Knows for a point slam in this one. Oh, there it is. Uh, we'll just scare them a bit now. We'll do this. Spirit, what we do, this world ever free. We'll just scare them a bit. Make them consider multiple things. <laughs> oh, wow. They put more boost into it. Oh, my God. Thank you.
Hero pass? <laughs> Hero pass for the memes, huh? Why is that way? Wow. Oh, nice. Let me return you the favor. <laughs> Piggy's carrying, man. Wow. Which apprentices are so nice? Five provision cost, two points per turn. Kind of made the beast a little bit obsolete. Beast is still good. Because it's not conditional. The realm of the Savage Chain abandoned now your mortal stain. Wow, 69 or 100. Easy money, baby.